Hey Dope Fam, this is Chris Mizo here. You probably want to figure out how to uninstall IQ. Corsair's IQ5 can really be a pain to some people out there who have issues uninstalling it. You might be trying to do it the standard way, which is to right click the Windows button, go to Apps and Features, and then you try to go to Corsair's IQ just to find out that it won't let you uninstall it or even modify the file. You might be getting some sort of error message saying that the file cannot be uninstalled. Now the first method, Corsair does recommend to download a troubleshooter. Now I'll show you exactly what that looks like. You might, if you're not interested knowing about Corsair's official steps to uninstall it, then you can go down to the timestamps down below because I will show you each and every way how you can remove Corsair's IQ without issue. It's gonna to try to figure out what the problem is with your software. So you're gonna to go to the uninstall side. So the first step I will mention is Corsair's troubleshooter tool. Now it's not really owned by Corsair, but it may help you or it may not help you and works best on the older IQ files. Reason being because most of the files, unless you downloaded a MSI installer, then it will help you uninstall this file. And reason why this may be a useless link to you. But if you are interested in trying Corsair's official method, I do have the link down in the description down below. You download the troubleshooter download link. And what you do is once you download it, you should get a file just like this one up here. It's gonna be the Microsoft program install and uninstaller tool. You're gonna to click next. It's gonna to try to figure out what the problem is with your software. So you're gonna to go to the uninstall side. It might not even show up. Instead, you might have other programs show up. And if that's the problem, then it's gonna be not listed. And then it's gonna ask you for the product code here. Now it's gonna be pretty useless to get the product code, especially if your IQ file looked more like this. This is a, the standard, it's an application instead of a actual MSI file. And what I mean is if you look into the properties, it is an execution file. So that is gonna be no good to look for a MSI code. So what exactly can you do next? The next step I recommend is probably the most easiest way to figure out how to uninstall IQ. Now, what I would typically recommend is to restart your PC in safe mode. And the reason being because then it will not give you any issues. There will be not any type of interjections whatsoever to prevent you from uninstalling IQ. What you can do is hold the shift button down, go to the windows, and go to the power button and what you're gonna do is hit restart. And what will happen is it will give you options when you are going into the boot menu. Now, if you do know how to access the boot menu, if you built your PC, then more than likely it's gonna be something like F9 or F8 will open up boot options. And then from there, you can pick the safe mode. Now, in order to get to safe mode, we have to go to troubleshoot here, go to advanced options, and then we're gonna go to startup settings. And right here, as you can see, it says enable safe mode. That's exactly what we want. So we're gonna reboot it into safe mode. And now you just want to go to option four because we really don't need the networking side of it. So now we are in safe mode. It might look a little bit crazy because your graphical card is not really being used. It, what safe mode really does is uses the minimum hardware in order to open up the operating system so you can do what you need to do and get out. So just go into the Windows button here, right click it, go to apps and features. Once you go to apps and features, go to Corsair IQ5 software, Click it like you usually do and uninstall. Now this might resolve your issue. Now all of a sudden, it pops up just like this. Now you don't have any issues to uninstall Corsair. So you want to delete settings for all user and click uninstall. Now, once you do that, 
it should fix your issue. If the safe mode doesn't work or you don't want to go into safe mode to uninstall IQ, there is another option, Revo uninstaller. So we're gonna go there in order to get this uninstaller tool. And just go to free download. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna open up this setup file. Install this software because it is going to be your best friend, especially with problematic software. So you can see Corsair IQ5 on the top of the list. Just hit that uninstall button and it will throw it out for you. So it will even set a system restore point just in case. It looks like we are successful. Now, another thing you want to make sure Either method that you use to uninstall IQ, you want to go to your folders and you want to go to the program files. You're going to go to C, you're going to go to program files, x86, or go to program files. You just want to make sure Corsair is not there. If you do see a Corsair folder, delete it. Otherwise, you will get a message saying that Corsair has a file inside of the folder, especially if you do the safe boot removal just make sure to delete that file otherwise Corsair will not allow you to reinstall now hopefully you found this content for you useful if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you know anybody else who needs help with IQ5 removal make sure you share this video with them and also if you're not part of the big wonderful fan band make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more and don't forget to hit the notification bell and for all of the newest updates, make sure you follow my X handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Fam, fam guys, what would you like to see with IQ? And I pray that IQ6 is a much larger improvement because IQ5 is pretty embarrassing. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.